Hey everybody, it's Don Henry Satus. I'm gonna show you how to make Egyptian bread lentil soup. Let's get straight into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with one brown onion. So I've obviously peeled it, slice through the middle, and we just wanna finely dice this. So we'll set that to the side, and we're gonna bring across one carrot, and I've peeled this as well, cut the stems off. We just want to slice lengthways. And we just want to slice through the middle again. And we just want to chop this into small pieces. Just like so. So let's move on to our stove. So just into a small pot on a medium heat, we're going to start by adding in 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. And to this we'll add our onions and carrots. Now we just want to very lightly cook these together just to give our onions some colour. So once the onions have started to soften, we're going to add in two crushed garlic cloves. And we're going to season this with a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of ground cumin, just mix those well together. Now we're going to lower our heat to low to medium. Now add in one tablespoon of tomato paste, one cup of red lentils, Next, I'm going to add in three and a half cups of cold water. Now we just want to mix this well through. Now we're just going to add in two bay leaves. Put the lid on, and we're going to let this simmer on low to medium for around 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, so we're at the 15 minute mark now. As you can see, our lentils have cooked all the way through and our carrots are nice and soft as well. So we can turn the heat off at this stage. And also we want to discard our bay leaves, we don't want that in there. So we're going to go ahead and transfer this to a food processor now. Alternatively, you can use a stick blender and just blend it in the pot, that's up to you. Also, you can just serve it like this as well if you like, so it's up to you. Alright, so that's in the food processor, now we just want to blend it at a high speed. Right up until we have that beautiful soft colour all over, and we have no chunky pieces in there. But now, as I said, if you want to keep it chunky, that's fine, I just like it more smooth. So let's go ahead and serve this now. Alright, and there we have it. I'm just going to finish it up with a dollop of labneh, which is of course strained yogurt, but you can just use normal yogurt as well. And just look at how beautiful and thick and creamy that is. And that's a perfect dish right there, especially now that it's winter here in Sydney. Well, as you can see, it's a very simple dish to make, it only took about 15 to 20 minutes. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.